A grieving widow is questioning why a Spotsylvania deputy opened fire on her husband. Her husband, a Marine veteran, was killed on Sunday. Kenny Carr was also an Army service member mm. working at Fort Belvoir. The sheriff's office says the deputy shot Carr when they saw him pointing a gun at a woman. We've learned that woman okay, was... So, so that's why, that's why, baby. That's why, baby. A grieving widow is questioning why a Spotsylvania deputy opened fire on her husband. Her husband, a Marine veteran, was killed on Sunday. Kenny Carr was also an Army service member working at Fort Belvoir. The sheriff's office says the deputy shot Carr when they saw him pointing a gun at a woman. We've learned that woman was his wife. And as Northern... <laughs> Yo, this is the craziest 23 seconds of any story. Just listen to this, man. This is this is sun turns in a fucking nutshell. A grieving widow is questioning why a Spotsylvania deputy opened fire on her husband. Her husband, a Marine veteran, was killed on Sunday. Kenny Carr was also an Army service member working at Fort Belvoir. The sheriff's office says the deputy shot Carr when they saw him pointing a gun at a woman. We've learned that woman was his wife. And as Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey reports, that single fatal gunshot was fired from outside the couple's house through a window. One look at Kenny. They sniped his ass. They, they's like, man, we got to save this woman, man. In a car study, and it's clear the decorated veteran was proud of his military service, wow. first as a Marine, then with the Army. Award after award up on the wall. He they and wife Devin had been together since eighth grade. Yeah, baby, they sniped him to save your life, black woman. He got him a muff, motherfucking caramel queen right here. They He's couldn't wait, good. man. They had to. They had to take action, man. They had to take action, baby. He was gonna kill you, man. He shot yeah, him. This, though. this is like a Micaiah Bryant situation where it's like you just can't let him rock out because you know you never know what's gonna happen next. Yeah, man. Um, and you don't understand what happened? Okay. Great. Married for 17 years with two mm. children, including an adoring son. Wow. He was so proud that our son. I'm sorry. So our son. He was like, I want to be just like that. But the family was shattered early Sunday morning when Kenny Carr was shot and killed by a Spotsylvania like County deputy. Devin says her usually happy, upbeat husband seemed to be struggling with signs of PTSD recently. Okay, so he's struggling with signs of PTSD. Okay, so let me guess. They should have sent a, um, a, 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 a social worker. A mental health aid. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this guy with a gun to your head so he can talk. Yeah of PTSD recently. She says Sunday when he came home from a visit to Richmond, it was clear he'd been drinking. She says he got loud. She went downstairs to this theater room. He later followed with a gun. So he was still just talking loud, like down there. He was moving his hands and stuff like that. Um, and, I, and I was just really just listening at that point. Devin says she didn't know it, but someone called 911. Devin says as she was trying to calm her husband downstairs, she had no idea that deputies had arrived at the house. Some went through the front door, others around to the side of the house. Next, it happened so quick. Um, Look at all this shit to protect these sisters, man. Like, sister, you got a problem? We'll be right there. Show up with a bunch of trained ex-Marines with guns, man. Dang. To protect your ass. It ain't like in Africa. You call the cops a motherfucking, a motherfucking small militia of untrained sunmen with machetes. Fucking pull up. You call the cops in Africa, and then they make your husband is fucking threatening you, man. They gonna tell you, man. We need a thousand. We need a thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That ain't none of our business, man. That sounds like a personal matter. Look at this shit, man. She doing this interview like the day he died. Like her husband just got shot last night, Rebel, and she just doing an interview, like calm and shit. Baby, you 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 sisters got it good here. 
Your sister's got it great in this country. She acting like she wasn't scared now. You people are acting like she wasn't scared. Listen to what listen to her story. She acting like she wasn't terrified for this nigga. She says Sunday when he came home from a visit to Richmond, it was clear he'd been drinking. She says he got loud. She went downstairs to this theater room. He later followed with a gun. So he was still just talking loud, like down there. He was moving his hands and stuff like that. Um, and, I, and I was just really just listening at that point. Devin says she didn't know it, but someone called 911. Devin says as she was trying to calm her husband downstairs, she had no idea that deputies had arrived at the house. Some went through the front door, others around to the side of the house. Next, it happened so quick. Um, he was talking, and next thing you know, out of nowhere, I saw glass just went flying, and I, when a glass went flying, it's the police busted in. This press release from the sheriff's office didn't identify the couple, but says when they arrived, a deputy saw a man pointing a gun at a woman and fired. Two hours after deputies pulled her from that room, Devin learned her husband was dead. She says it wasn't until much later that day when a crew came to pull up the bloody carpet and drywall that she realized where the gunfire came from, why the glass had shattered. She says the deputy fired through this basement window. She's Shout out to that deputy, man. That deputy is like a fucking hero, man. He even keeps that deputy. Yeah, give him the key to the city, man. Facts, man. Because had he waited, because that, because what this means is that that nigga, like, he had her, like, on some, like, you know what I'm saying? On some, like, bro, barrel to the dome shit. Battered. She says the deputy fired through this basement window. She's angry and wants to know why deputies no, never announced their presence, never gave a warning to Kenny. They'd still. So she's going to sue the police, try to get the police officer fired. He needed a warning? Like, the fuck? Yeah, warn him so he, startle him so he can shoot your ass. Yeah, these niggas are retarded, bro. Yeah, they unfit for civilization, man. Niggas don't belong in civilized society, man. We unfit, man. We're not, let me just not say we're unfit. This is not something we would have created. Oh, no. Salute to um, Economics A111. He says, I've asked in the past now how to come on to the panel. Don't have a mic. Wait a second. You a superb son, man. And you ain't got a mic. Um, hey. He said, um, I'll figure it out. Only significant DNA difference is testosterone. <laughs> Oh my God! What the fuck? So, so you, so basically, you agree that DNA plays a, a role, but then you turn around and keep That's saying up. this culture shit. It's like, bro, you you niggas are retarded, bro. I, I'm sorry, though. Yeah. All you gotta do is let some people talk, and then we we show you why Africa looks like why how it does, bro. But you know, you know, brother, for a guy who likes who's you who like to use the word retard, you you put quotes in my mouth that I never actually said. You said that I said that I don't believe in DNA at all. Do you realize that this show's being recorded? I never said that. But you just, you said it was all culture. That right. means That's not what I said. Pay attention, my friend, who likes to use the word retard. Okay, I was simply. I was simply making an analysis in regards to economics original statement. I said, I don't have any opinion on the matter because I am not educated in regards to behavioral and DNA. That's what I said. So I never leaned to the left, nor did I lean to the right. Now, the man made a statement, uh, uh, the, uh, another man made a statement, you originally, you originally associated when he said that, oh, well, Sun Men or um, uh, I think the, I think a person wrote that Sun Men or, or something aggressive when they are uh, uh, describing whites and you assume he was talking about me. How did you assume he was talking about me? I mean, who, I just made an inference because I mean, who else was describing white people on the on the show? He never, he, he never wrote. He never said the people in the panel. How did you assume it was me? 
I just I just said because we, we were the only pre- people on the show discussing. Why but we various vir- we showed various videos of, of 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 subjects where people were actually talking about racism and things like that. How do you know he wasn't talking about the actual video? Uh I mean, if you're if you're gonna tell Let's me, I don't know. Hey, dude, who made that comment? Uh, who are you talking yeah, about? Man. Dude in the chat who made the comment about black people arrogant talking about white people. Well, uh, if you're still out there, man, please uh tell us uh who you was if, talking about, man. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I mean, I've been wrong before. It's not that big. Of a deal. Really talking about white people in itself and then you went and twisted my word and said well i thought that all whites were barbarians that's not what i said i made a comparison in regards to the romans and the western invasion of the germanic tribes which were considered barbarians and i said as they entered into rome they simply adjusted and changed their ways so you didn't say you didn't tell act that now did you see when you was talking and stuff like that i just stay quiet i just mute my mic okay. i didn't say nothing like I'm gonna mute now. All right. All right. Let me let me move along, man. Um, did not say nothing. They did not make any requests. They did not say anything at all. If you felt like you had to shoot him, he got other body parts. He got. He- oh fucking Christ! Man. Oh fucking Christ! She wants them to shoot him in his feet so the bullets can rebound and hit them in the head. Yeah, shoot him in the foot. That's going to stop him from shooting you in the head. Yo, these women are so... This is why the WNBA is the way it is. Because it's run by these people. You want the WNBA to stop being a shit show? Let us run it. Let men run it. This is how women think. She's... Yo, her life would be over. And if she's not, if she's doing an interview the same day, not crying, she don't look flustered. Her like her eyes ain't, you know how a woman look when she's been crying all day. Look at them eyes, man. Eyes look normal, man. Um, mm-hmm. baby, look at them. She ain't been crying all day, but then she gonna want to sue the police department. These are life or death situations, baby. These situations happen in a fraction of a second. Split second decisions got to be made. Action. Action. You got to jump into action, man. Yo, we coming to save this woman. Hey, there's a woman being held at gunpoint at a house in such and such place, Spotsylvania. All units to the scene. A bunch of fucking brave ass white men hopping cars and speed over there. Knowing it may be the last fucking time they fucking see their family. They don't even get the chance to call their wives and the kids and say, hey, honey, I'm going to a domestic incident, man. It's the most deadly incident for cops. I just want to kiss the kids for me. Um, and I love you. If you don't hear from me later on, you know what happened. Nah, they just rush over there. Speed over there. Come try to save this fucking woman's life. And she's fucking bitching now about how it was done. You sisters are ingrates. Ingrates. I hope, uh, what's her face? What's that lady? Divested Zealot, man. I hope she get this story, man. Somebody send this to Divested Zealot. This story right here, man. The, the Divested Chicks, man. Oh, man. I ain't listen to that show. I ain't, I ain't heard her showing them in like. Oh, the, 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 I, I, I agree with a lot of Divested talking points, man. They just. Yeah, sometimes they go off the rails, though. Yeah, but this is this shit right here. Think about sisters, man. It, yo, this is the tax. This is what you put on the society, man. And now you bitching about how it was done. Yo, saving a life is... Yo, they don't... Listen. The cop might not even know, know that that's your husband. 
they might just they the cop might not that could be an intruder it could have been an intruder so all these cops show up they're all surrounding the house everybody don't know every detail they just know it's a nigga in there with a gun to your head some might know that it's the husband some might know that he's ex-marine some might know that it's not an intruder who knows but they know it's a nigga over there with a gun to your head he had a clear shot and he shot the nigga the end as the deputy fired through this basement window she's angry and wants to know why deputies never announced their presence never gave a warning to kenny they did not say nothing they did not make any requests they did not say anything at all if you felt like you had to shoot him he got other body parts. He got, he had two legs. He had two arms. He had anything that said, do not kill me because he did not deserve that. Devin declined yeah, to answer whether she her. That her husband would shoot her. She believes the press release unfairly portrays him as a criminal. What I think so she thinks that he wasn't going to shoot her, but he had a gun to your head. He's beat her ass before. He's probably put a gun in her head millions of times before. This is this is what she's she likes guys like that. Yeah. Or she's just in a relationship where that's the dynamic. Whether she likes it or not, that's the dynamic she's found herself in. And it is what it is. But yeah, I agree with you hundred percent. This ain't the first time this nigga put a gun to her fucking head. He had two arms. He had anything that said, do not kill me, because he did not deserve that. Devin declined Bro, to answer what? whether she feared that her husband would shoot her. She believes the press release unfairly portrays him as a criminal. But I think because my, my husband wasn't like that, so I don't think they saved my life. But I don't think they no saved tears. his life. No tears. A sheriff. She don't think they saved her life. Why my did husband she... wasn't like that, so I don't Don't call and take the chance. Take the physical challenge, right? She didn't call, though. Someone else apparently called. So it was a big scene. For someone else to have called, this was a scene. They must have heard. I don't think they saved my life. But I don't think they took his life. A sheriff's office spokesman declined comment on Devin Carr's concerns. Well, she wiping? What the has been placed on administrative yeah, no leave. Tears. Virginia no State Police are assisting in the investigation. In Spotsylvania County. I hate y'all. <laughs> yeah, son. There's un they're ungovernable. Yeah, exactly. It's ungovernable. They resist anything positive, bro. Just any anything. Just man said, rabbit hole review said she'll be on a date nap by Christmas. <laughs> man, look, I see her on a date nap. I'm shooting my shot, bro. Yeah, man. Facts, That's man. It. Facts, man. She, That's she her right kids there, almost man. grown too. Her kids almost out the house, man. So she good, man. I like her, man. Yeah. Damn, yeah, this bitch, man. Um, fuck, 